Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese. Always got another uh, tip video for you today. Today, I'm going to be going over tips to stop the run. This is going to be uh, essentially seven tips that I think you should do just about every single play uh, that will help you stop the run much better than you're probably currently doing. Stopping the run is probably one of the toughest things for people in the Madden community this year. And it's also one of the most broken and OP things that people are doing on offense. So hopefully, uh, this video uh, will be popular. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I already did one out of for pass defensive. I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description for that. That, uh, if you guys want to check that out um, but if you want to see more videos like this on other topics make sure to hit the like button let me know in the comment section and I will try to do that other than that let's get right into the video to start off probably the number one tip before the play even starts before you even pick a play take a look at what they're doing on the offensive side personnel is a dead giveaway when it comes to what they're going to do three tight end sets is not a formation people typically are going to throw out of so you want to take a look at what they're doing here and make sure you match it on the other side so this is a dead giveaway it's going to be a run play I'm going to come out in one of my better run defenses to cover one keep contain which i've talked about quite a bit and then my first goal once i come to the line is i want to uh, set up my defense now the first thing that i'm looking for to do is to basically take away any gaps inside and make sure that i have outside leverage uh, when it comes to um you know the outside run lane so that means basically i want my edge defender to be wider than their 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 widest blocker which is either in this situation a tight end or a uh, offensive lineman typically will be the case now to kick it up a notch i also think that qb containing will really help on this particular play you can see i don't quite have the outside leverage but since he's in a QB contain he's going to get the job done QB containing is a very uh, good way to hold the edge especially against stretch run plays which is what most people like to run anyway which brings me to my next point you can pretty much pre-qualify uh, you know where the run can go before the play starts I mean you can see where the gaps are on my defense I can see that on you know it's either going to be here it's where over the uh, tackle or on the left or the right or it's going to be outside those are pretty much the only lanes that I'm allowing based off of how I set up my defense pre-snap so knowing that I can pretty much tell what it's going to be and then within the first second of the play being run I know exactly where the play's going to go it already eliminated half the option because the running backs headed to the right so I know that especially based off of the angle that it pretty much eliminates all the options that this is pretty much going to be a stretch play and that's how i have to play this and then of course the qb contain does its job shuts down the play which like i said that just kicks it up a notch so then on the very next play my opponent calls a play within a second of the of the play ending so i know it's the exact same play the quicker somebody calls a play you know it's either going to be in the exact same formation or if it's really fast like that it's going to be the exact same play so that just makes it that much easier to predict what my opponent's going to do so here on the very next play set up the exact same way i want to make sure that i use her the middle of the field because if he's going left or right that's going to make it harder if i if i you know cheat over a little bit too much to the right it's going to make it that much harder for me to get all the way to the left if that's where he runs the ball so make sure you're always playing the middle of the field as much as possible and that and for me that includes bringing the safety down to the box like i am here um, as you can see, once again, I'm eliminating as much gaps and leverage as possible. Where is there an opening on this play? You know what I mean? I, I spread the defensive line this time, which is typically how I run this particular defense. And you can see there's really nothing there. I mean, he gets a couple yards on a fullback dive. What are you going to do about that? But ultimately, you're not going to have sustained success like that. Then he calls a no huddle, which, like I said, once again, you know it's the same play. These principles are things that you can repeat throughout the entire game. They're never going to change. Taking away gaps and leverage. On this next play, I kick it up a notch because I know what he's doing. And I'm going to press, which you can see now the outside cornerbacks are even you know they're even taking away more of an outside angle uh which makes the play even better he flips it and i and i actually take that away because i was thinking maybe he's changing to a passing play but he goes and runs once again qb contain does his job holds down the outside edge and i mean this is just if you can if you can stay consistently to these principles you're always going to have success or much more success stopping the run uh, than you typically will here it looks like he flipped the play he tries to take it outside i don't know why he didn't just switch over you know it's a completely different run play on a, on a third and long uh, but this guy, he pretty much ran, this is all from one gameplay, he pretty much ran uh, a goal line formation throughout the entire game, which, you know, a lot of people do that really cheesily and have a lot of success. So, next play, once again, eliminating gaps and leverages. Once again, outside leverage is locked up. Um, there's nothing that he can really do to the outside. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to use in the middle. Now, a lot of times, you can tell a run play is going to go to the open side of the field because there's more space. So, you might want to lean that way just a little bit or at least think that that's where the ball is going to go. It's definitely a good indicator to think that the ball typically is going to get run to the open side of the field because people don't want to limit themselves on offense as far as space. But truthfully, people typically look for gaps in leverage and opportunities there more than anything. So next opponent, 
after the play is snapped, I think one of the uh, the smartest things to do, you don't necessarily have to make a user play. You typically just want to play crowd control. Here, he's trying to get outside. I'm using to make sure that he does not get outside. I let somebody else make the tackle. You don't have to be a hero. You just have to basically take away angles to the point where uh, your opponent can't go where he wants to go. Here on the next play, this is a, a offensive formation that really only lends itself to one type of run play, which is an inside zone. So I'm taking away the angle by basically stepping into that gap, making sure that he can't run where he wants to go. So now he has to run outside, and guess what? He runs into a player that he doesn't want to because he had to take an angle that he didn't want to take. So that's it. That's the vid. These are just, like I said, very simple run tips, run defense tips. That should make you a better run player, uh, run defensive player. If you want to see more plays like this, more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.